If any man tells me he went into the front line and he wasn't scared, he's a liar. You're scared, Steph. In the trench, you were all right. If you kept down, sniper couldn't get you. But you never knew if the artillery had a shell that burst above you, and you caught the shrapnel. But I made friends with the Lewis gun team. There were five of us, and we were just like that. Comrades. From the time I went to France, the second week in June 1917, until I left, I never had a bath, I never had any clean clothes. You slept on the fire and step, if you could. Shells bursting all around you. If we'd been taken prisoners, you'd have been lined up and shot with your own gun. He came towards us with a rifle and a fixed bayonet. He had no ammunition, otherwise he could have shot us. I had to bring him down. First of all, I shot him in the right shoulder. He dropped the rifle. He came on. His idea, I suppose, was to kick the gun if he could in the mud. And for our own safety, I had to bring him down. I couldn't kill him. He was a man I never knew. I didn't know his language. Couldn't talk to him. I shot him above the ankle, above the knee. He went down. Said something to me in German. God knows what it was. But for him, the war was over. The night we caught it, we had taken the German front line, the German support line. We had to cross what was the old no man's land. And it was crossing there, a rocket burst amongst us. It killed my three mates, it wounded me. All I can remember was a flash. I went down, blew me down. September the 22nd, half past 10 at night. That's when I lost him. That's my remembrance day. It's painful. I got three mates buried somewhere. I don't know where. It's too many. When you look at it, why did they die? Look at it. Why? All of them dead. <laughs> 